So you want to know how many carbs you should be eating. And a lot of us always say, you know, if I eat, if I eat too many carbs that I'm going to get fat, right? And so we're always thinking that we got to eat this high protein, low carbohydrate diet. But in the end, I'm going to tell you this, it's all about the calorie in calorie out. Go and find anything that tells you anything different. But the majority of the research out there just shows that it's calorie in calorie out when it's dedicated to weight loss. Now when it comes to fat loss and building muscle, that's a completely different story. But today I'm just talking about weight loss and we're talking about carbs. So when it comes to carbs, we have to understand that 20% of your caloric intake has to be dedicated to the brain. The brain relies on glucose. In fact, it's one of the biggest caloric burns that you're gonna have throughout the day is just to be able to think. And so right away, you gotta know that your carbs have to be at least 20% just to feed the brain. Now you wanna factor in that you work out, right? And some of the watches, they indicate active calories. So if you burnt, let's say 400 active calories on a day, there's four calories for one gram of carbohydrate. So if you, if you burnt 400 active calories, then right away you know that you get 100 grams of carbs because essentially you're utilizing every or you're eating everything that you've already utilized in a workout so you can take your active calories you can take what you've dedicated to your brain now when it comes to like which carbs you, you should have well we got to understand that each carb isn't created equally so if you eat a carb that creates a big time insulin spike and sugar spike that ends up happening is your body is going to burn through those calories faster than it would a normal complex carbohydrate. And then what ends up happening is you get hungrier after you eat those, those fast acting carbs. But also if it's above what's required, so above what your brain requires, above what, what your active calories are burnt, above what your muscle needs, above what you need to store in your liver, then what ends up happening is that's gonna get stored into body fat a lot quicker. So that's why all carbs aren't created equal. Even though on the macro scale, they're fine. But from a physiological scale, carbs that are going to burn through quickly are going to create more problems with your body fat than if you had more of a complex carb, right? And so carb timing, that is a thing because when you work out, your primary preferred fuel source, especially if you're doing HIIT training like you would at Fit Club, is going to be carbohydrates. So we have to feel those. Now, if you were to either have your carbs planned prior to your workout, you know, give yourself about an hour to digest, then your body is going to take those carbs and it's going to primarily use them as fuel for the workout if you're burning enough calories in that workout that you consumed prior to the workout. Also, after you're done working out, you've basically depleted all the glucose from your muscles if you went hard, and so you need to replenish them. So if you had a carb, or the majority of your carbs after you're done working out, then guess what? Those carbs are gonna get super saturated into the muscle. So it's not gonna be readily available to be stored as body fat. So to recap, you need to make sure that at least 20% of your daily carb intake is dedicated to your brain. So right away, the minimum amount of carbs I would tell you just to keep your brain functioning properly. Doesn't mean that you can't go into keto and this and that, but most people that I speak to aren't in keto. They're not even wanting to try that. They wanna still eat carbs. They just wanna know how many they should be eating. So 20% right away of your caloric intake should be dedicated to your brain. And then we have to replenish or we need to restore the active calories that we're gonna burn in a workout. So we wanna have pre-fuel, we also wanna have post-fuel. And then if you're going to be eating and you're really like hardcore dedicated to this, then yeah, smother your carbs. Either have them before you work out or have them after you work out. But you gotta understand that in the end, carbs are not your enemy. And yeah, you can eat the unhealthy carbs and you can still lose weight, but not every carb is created equal. And so if you wanna see that body fat go down and you wanna have less body inflammation overall, then pick the right carbs and follow this schedule. We'll see you in the next video.